Hello everyone, how are you? In today's lecture, we will discuss a new problem related to symmetry analysis and the problem is how to find the local operator and global form of a Lie group if you are given the value of x and y in terms of the canonical variables r and s. Now students, uh, I have written here the value of x and y that is in terms of the canonical variables r and s. Now we want to find the global form, operator form and local form of a Lie group. As the global form of a Lie group is given by this one, operator form by gamma is equal to this value and local form by this one. Now students, as in the previous lecture, we have derived the uh, system of equation uh, for uh, for canonical variables that are given by gamma r is equal to 0 and gamma s is equal to 1 and the value of gamma r is given by the partial derivative of r with respect to x into capital X that is the infinitesimal and plus partial derivative of r with respect to y into capital Y and we know that x and y are basically our the values of infinitesimals. Now students if we use the value of x and y and find the value of s and r like the value of s and r definitely will be in term of x and y so we will get the value of s is equal to 1 by y because y is equal to 1 by s and in the similar way if we substitute the value of s is equal to 1 is divided by r sorry 1 1 is divided by y over here then we will get the value of r is equal to y minus x is divided by x y now students our next task is to substitute the values of s and r in equation number one and two definitely for that we have to take the partial derivative of uh, s with respect to x and y and in the similar way the partial derivative of r with respect to x and y so if we take their partial derivative with respect to their and uh, substitute in equation number one and two then obviously we will get here minus one by x square into capital x and plus minus one by y square sorry y into capital y is equal to zero and we will get equation number three in the similar way, the equation number 3 implies gamma s is equal to 1 and if we substitute the value of capital Y because definitely capital X is, will be equal to, sorry, the uh, uh, partial derivative of s with respect to x will be equal to 0 because here uh, it is equal to 1 by y and will be treated as a constant so its derivative will become equal to 0. So we will get equation number 4. Now if we substitute 4 into 3 and simplify it further or solve the system then we will get the value of capital X is equal to minus x square. Now basically these are the values of the infinitesimals. Now students the local form is given by x bar is equal to definitely here x bar is equal to x plus capital X epsilon plus order of epsilon square and capital uh, sorry y bar is equal to y plus capital Y epsilon plus order of epsilon square. Now if we substitute the value of capital X and capital Y over here then we will get the local form of a Lie group. In the similar way the operator form is given by uh, gamma is equal to minus x square into cap uh, sorry partial by partial x into capital x and partial by partial y into capital y that is given here so if i substitute the value of capital x and capital y then we will get the operator form of a lie group now uh, students to find the global form of a lie group we have to do uh, some calculations uh, like definitely we know that dx bar is divided by d epsilon is equal to capital x of x bar y bar and at epsilon is equal to 0 cap, um, x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y and in the similar way dy bar over d epsilon is equal to capital y of x bar y bar and at epsilon is equal to 0 capital x uh, sorry x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y now students if i use the value of capital x of x bar y bar over here and if i um, uh, convert the equation into a separable one then we will get 1 by x bar is equal to epsilon plus c and the condition on it is that uh, at epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y and from here if i substitute uh, these values like epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x so i will get the value of c that is equal to 1 by x so i will get uh, if i simplify it further then x is equal to x bar is divided by 1 minus epsilon x bar in the similar way if i use this equation and substitute the value of capital y of x bar y bar then we will get the value of y in this way so this is actually the global form of a lie group now students in today's lecture we have discussed a problem where we are given the value of x and y in canonical variables and uh, we have found their corresponding uh, Lie groups and their forms of local operator and global one. So this is all about this lecture. Thank you so much.